Hey, welcome back. This is Tableau Zen Master Luke Stanky, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a filled circular heat map. It might sound like a video we've already made. However, um, this one's going to look a little bit different. Trust me. Anyway, before we get started, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. You'll get content as we release it on Data Coach. Anyway, uh, this ring heat map, right? We sort of already had created one of these in the past, and it looked like this. It was circles. We sort of cheated the heat map, but now I want to show you how to create an actual filled heat map that has a circular view and it really has each polygon filled in. I'm gonna let you know that this one is also a trick. It's actually not too hard to do once you know the trick. So let's start by go ahead and creating this visualization. We're gonna create a new sheet and we're gonna start by creating a very simple calculation. Just click create calculator field and let's just type year of order date. Oh, anyway, connected to Tableau 2020.4 using Tableau 2020.4. Let's just create year of order date. And then we're gonna divide this by, let's say a million, just a really large number here. And that's the trick. This we're gonna call this the X axis here. It's gonna go on columns. Click okay. Now let's go find X axis and we'll put it out on our view. And we'll change this to a dimension. So now we have four ticks all the values are really really small by the way the difference between them really small one for each year the next calculation we're going to create is uh, just create a new calculation and call it size so this will be the size of our rings themselves we're just going to say year of order date and we'll take year of order date and we'll subtract a level of detail calculation that says min and we'll say the min of the year of order date so our smallest value here will end up being zero. So we'll have to just add a few values back in here. So let's just say plus two. And then our max value, since we have four years of data, is going to return three plus two is five. So we'll hit okay. Now let's just go find size. Let's place size on size. There it is, size on size. Our mark type though, we need to change that. Let's change our mark type here to be a pie chart. So now you can see once we change it to pie chart, we have circles that are incrementally larger along each step. That's great. That's exactly what we're hoping to see. However, we need to sort of see the chunks of the pie. And the way we're going to get the chunks of the pie is we're going to find order date. We're going to right click. We're going to create a custom date and we're going to choose the exact date part of months here. So date part months, we hit OK. Now let's just take date part months and place that on our view on detail. If we change the color and our border to be white, what we'll see are little steps in there, right? You see the little steps as they sort of show up there. I uh, just had them up there they are. Um, the sizes here, I'm not sure what they're based off of, but uh, I think Tableau is trying to use size, but what we're going to do on angle here is we're just going to double click on the marks card and type min 1.0 and now place that on angle. That'll make nice evenly shaped values. That's it. Before it was trying to use size for the size of the pie, we didn't need that. Uh, by the way, let's just change size here to a dimension. It's not going to do, it's going to change it ever so subtly. So dimension on size and then min of one on angle, setting a fixed angle, and then order date of months is on detail thus far. Now for the fun part, just right click on the X axis and choose edit axis. And now we're just gonna set this value between negative one and one. And what you'll notice is we have, yeah, that's right, we've stacked these up and if we want, we could just fit the entire view. Now if we click on size and we sort of change the size, you'll see we have these filled polygons. It's a really nice little trick, isn't it? And we could just take sales and place that out on color here. And if I wanted to edit the color, I could just, you know, let's choose this purple here and hit OK. So now we've got January, February, March, April following like a filled polygon, except the innermost value is kind of just too large. Um, and maybe while we're at it, let's just go find order date. Uh, again, getting picky about the tooltips is that we can see the years 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Uh, but this is so large here. So what do we do? You just double click on the columns axis and type min 0.0. .0. And what min 0.0, .0 is going to do is create a separate marks card 
Don't panic about all these values just sitting over here. We're gonna remove almost all of them. We're gonna take year of order date off of it. We're gonna take order date of month. We're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take size. And we're also gonna take this min value off as well. And now we have a second circle and we could just you know, size this down a little bit before we do the work and change this to white with a border that is also white. Now we just click on min 0, 0.0, do a dual axis. Oh, look at that. We have our heat map. And don't forget to synchronize, by the way. Now we have a dual axis, it's synchronized. We can just do our formatting like every video. Click on the lines, remove the grid lines from the sheet, remove the zero lines, remove the axis rulers, and remove the axis ticks. I always do the same things. And then because we have a dual axis, you need to remove the column dividers and remove the row dividers. Once those are all gone, you can right click on the axes, uncheck show header. The last thing that we're missing here is some context, like what month is which, which one is who. Let's just take order date of month here, the same order date months that we created earlier and is already on this detail of this marks card for the actual filled values and just click and drag that on the label. Now just click on uh, label and choose, uh, let's just choose most recent. Let's see if that does it. Yes, most recent, perfect. Now we've got a, a value around every single label to go with it. January, February, March, April. We still need to put the years on here. I'll just save it for another video at this point. But that's it. That's the filled circular heat map with dates. It's not cheating by using just little circles. We're actually filling the entire section of the heat map. I actually think this is a really nice, simple trick for creating this chart type. Anyway, that's this video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Content hits your inbox as we create it. If you do have any questions, throw them down in the comments. Happy to answer it uh, and provide any additional help and support. Or if you have any ideas for additional videos, be sure to put it in the comments down below. Anyway, that's this video. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.